Hello, it's a lovely international school and let's start the lesson for grade 5. Today's topic is sequence. Sequences. Sequences. What is sequences? The um, easiest way to understand what is sequences is to solve this riddle. Look at this. The riddle is 2, 4, 6, 8, Guess the next number, please. And then I have 12. I think only smartest of you will understand there is a something like 10. Why it's 10? What do you think? Because it changes every time with the same value. Yeah, it's 0 and it's 1. And look at this. We have a step. One step is 2. We add two points to each number, plus two, plus two. Yeah, here is the sequence. We call it sequence because we have terms here and some kind of a rule of a sequence. All right, the first of all, I think we should write down term. What is term? Term is the number or element of a sequence. For example, 12 is term. 10 is also term, 8 is also term, 6 and 4, and of course 2, term. This is all terms, but what about the word rule? All right, rule, some kind of a rule. We always have some rules to make this sequence. All right, rule. What is the main rule of this sequence? We always add 2. All right. Rule is here. Add 2. But it's not non only one thing. Somehow we should write down the whole rule. How we can write down? Uh, like, the rule is to add number 2. But we can write it shortly. Yeah? Shorter. Like, in mathematical way. We can say that each number we should to each number we should add two and here is the rule yeah this is the rule actually the rule is n plus two all right the next thing what we should learn is something more difficult you are smart enough to understand the next sequence mm, look at this three 6, 12, 24, this term we should find actually, and the next one is 96. Let's guess what we should put here, what number we should put here. 3 to 6. How did it change? Mm, I guess maybe it's plus 3. What do you think? Plus 3. All right. If it's plus 3, it should be again plus 3. But here is mm, actually not plus 3. Maybe it's not only addition. Maybe we should use something. It's definitely not subtraction. Subtraction. But anyway, we somehow can increase the number. All right. 3. Oh, look at this. 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 times 2 equals 12. 12 times 2 equals 24. And 24 times 2. Let me count. Ah, let me remind you kindly about the multiplication. 24. Yeah, let's remember grade 4. 24 times 2. Yeah, that will be the good for you. 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 2, 4. 48. We have 48 here, and I should write with the blue color. 48. And, of course, we understand that terms are 48, 24, 96, 12, 6, and 3. Actually, we have a finite uh, sequence here, because some times we have infinite sequence but this is a finite just just in case all right what about the rule of this sequence let me guess something always multiplies by two 
and the rule is here I can write it down let me use these letters it's n times 2 this is the rule wonderful I think it's enough for today thank you very much see you next time